Black Magic Woman was originally written by Peter Green, a founding member of the band Fleetwood Mac. Now, they first recorded it and released it as a single in 1968. Then later in 1970, Santana came out with arguably the most popular version of this song on his album, Abraxas. Now, if you're looking to learn Santana's version, then go to the blog link in the description below and you'll see all the different lessons that I have on this song. I've covered Santana's lead and the rhythm, but today I wanna share with you the original. We're gonna dive into Peter Green's guitar parts and many players out there like this version better. It's got a slightly different feel. It's very bluesy. Check it out. It starts out on this high triad way up here in the 17th position. You hear a D minor chord that goes like this. And it's just this three note chord. I'm playing the notes D, F, and A way up here, just lining up my fingers again in the 15th, 16th, 17th position. You hit that chord, and then the drummer hits the downbeat on the snare, and the vocals come in. Got a black magic woman. And you go into the groove. Now, one thing about Peter Green's guitar part is that he's actually tuned down to drop D. And you hear this when you hear the riff like... Really cool lick. And so I'm playing in drop D. Now you don't have to play it in drop D, and I'll show you, you know, what you can do if you don't want to be in drop D, but here's what I'm playing. So I'm playing a D minor here at the fifth position. Five, seven, seven, six, five. You could play the low D with that if you want a super low bass note, but I just play from the fifth string down. Okay, then we're gonna use a a couple chords here, we're gonna to go to an A minor. Now you could go to an A minor bar chord like this if you weren't in drop D, but what I play in drop D is I play seven, seven, five, five, five. I just play from the fifth string down. That's an A minor. So I've got D minor and then this nice smooth move to A minor. And then we're gonna use a G minor as well, which is that same chord down two frets, so five, five, three, three, three. So those are what we call the one, the four, and the five. Now the song uses a 12 bar blues minor chord progression, and you can really hear the bluesy influence in it. We're gonna start out with two bars of D minor. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, then go to A minor for two bars. Then we'll go back to D minor. Two, three, four, two bars. Two, three, four, then G minor. Two, three, four, two bars. Okay, so that's the first eight bars. So it's two, 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 two. If you've struggled to be able to recognize the notes and chords in all your favorite songs by ear, then go to johnmclennan.com slash golden ear and grab my free ear training cheat sheet. Ear training is how I've been able to put up thousands of song lessons online and not have to use any tabs or watch lessons myself. I just listen to it and then play it. So if you'd like to be able to develop this ability, then go to johnmclennan.com slash golden ear and grab my free ear training cheat sheet. Now for the strumming pattern, we're gonna go. This has got a cool little rhythm to it. We're gonna play a down, then down, up, and then down up. That's where, how we're gonna start. So one E and a two and. Then on beat three, our hand will go down, we won't play it, and we'll finish with up, down, up. So three and four and. Now really on that first beat there, we've got this quick, it's just a flurry, like one E and a, just a down up there. Ba, 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 one E and a two and three and four and. Those are sixteenth notes in there with eighth notes. So one and a two and three and four and ba 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 down down up down up up down up. That's the pattern there. So we're gonna play that with the chords like this.
it almost has like a Yardbirds kind of feel to it. Like if you listen to, you know, some of the old Yardbirds tracks like uh, For Your Love or Heart Full of Soul, you got that kind of 16th note, kinda, da, 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 kinda, that little flurry strum in there. Now, here's where Peter Green's chord progression varies from what Santana does. So Peter Green does this cool walk down. He goes. Okay, so in the ninth bar, we start this descending chord progression that goes D minor, and then we go to a C chord, which would be three, five, five, five. Then a B flat chord, one, three, 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 and then to A, which is one finger. Now each one of those chords, one and two and three and four and every two beats you move. Then you come back up to the D minor, you hit it on the downbeat. So it's gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Now with the strumming there, all I do is go back and forth. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And I accent beats two and four to get a backbeat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And then I hit the one. Now after you play that D minor, you hit that chord and then you break. Now here, if you listen on my speakers and listening on the version on YouTube, you hear this in the right speaker. You hear this kind of low guitar part that goes. And it ties in that chord, which we learned at the beginning. But let me show you this lick. What you do is you, you rake your strings. So you come back up with your pick on muted strings and then you release it, you go to this fifth fret on the fourth string, bend it down, it's like a bluesy, bluesy bend there, and then play three, then five on the fifth string, five on the sixth string, three, open. Ah, oh, that's so cool. And it starts on B2, so one and two and three and four and one. And then you, you land on this low, six string on beat one. Then you come all the way up to the 17th position and hit that D minor triad. So you've got this huge spread, right? We've got not only the lowest note on the guitar, but it's tuned down. So you've got this tuned down drop D and then this note here, or this chord here, D minor, which is almost one of the highest, you know, triads you can play. Like if I go up to the next D minor, if I invert it up, I actually am out of frets. I, I can't go any higher. So it's so it's basically like the lowest note to the highest note. If you did this on piano, it would be like hitting the bass strings and then or the bass keys and then the the treble keys, right? And you get this this huge spread between the low drop D and the high chord. So Okay, so if I back up, it's like So that riff and high chord both happen on beat two. Check it out. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and so that's two there. One and two and three and four and. So that's the main form and that just goes over and over. Let's put it all together. So just to back up, we got two D minors, two A minors, two D minors, two G minors, and then we do the walk down into the lick. Here we go. I'll start with the high D minor. A one, two, three, four, a one. Got a black magic. G minor. Walk down. All right, so that goes over and over for the verses and also the solo sections. Now, one other cool thing about the Peter Green or Fleetwood Mac version is it ends with this cool shuffle on the one chord. So what you do there is you go up to this D minor triad, which is 12, 10, 10, 10 on the top four strings. And you got this groove. A one and two and three and four and...
So what's going on here is I'm playing the fourth string and then hitting the treble strings and kind of muting it off. Now the feel changes here to swing eighth notes. So instead of like one and two and three and like we were doing one and two and three and four and it actually starts to really swing. A one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So you, you play the eighth notes with a swing feel, one and two. Then on the and a two, you play 12, 10, 12, 10, 12. And that's fifth string, fourth string, fifth string, fourth string, fourth string. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. There you have it. Those are the parts to the Fleetwood Mac version of Black Magic Woman, the original written by Peter Green. And you can see there's quite a few differences between the original and then Santana's. Santana has more of a Latin percussion feel to it, where this one's a little bit more bluesy. You've got the walk down chord progression and then some of those licks in drop D. Now, if you'd like to be able to quickly and easily recognize the notes and chords in all your favorite songs by ear, then go to johnmcclennan.com slash golden ear and grab my free ear training cheat sheet. And this is gonna show you some of the ideas that I've used to be able to figure out songs that I love and be able to jam along without needing tab, sheet music, or even having to watch a lesson. So just go to johnmcclennan.com slash golden ear and grab that as my gift to you. As always, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this one, you might like this one next.